Tagaful Emirat has announced impressive financial results for last year with net comprehensive income reaching 7 million dirhams. Compared to a 37 million dirham loss in 2019, well, let's speak to CEO Wal Al Sharif. Uh, Wal, uh, let me first of all ask you about your business strategy and how it has changed in order to return to profit. Um, thank you, Greg, for, for having us uh, today on your show. Uh, the first thing we, we looked at is uh, the portfolio, of course, of our insurance policies to make sure that uh, which ones to identify, which ones are causing the losses. And uh, obviously, we, we found a, uh, that we can, we can clean up, as you can say, the portfolio in a year. It took one year to clean up some of those policies, losing policies, and replace them for, with good uh, underwritten policies on a conservative basis. And that was the first step. The second one, we looked at our expenses, the GNA, in light, especially in light of the uh, COVID-19 and in light of our uh, drive to improve on our bottom line. This is where we went to restructuring some of the processes. Most of them, uh, we looked at automating them and uh, removing the, uh, the processes that would consume a lot of our expenses. At the same time, uh, adding uh, some uh, strength to our distribution channels to increase the reach to our clients uh, via platforms. And those insurance platforms uh, were on the B2C, which is direct to consumers, and uh, B2B2C, which is through our distribution partners, such as banks, brokers, etc. So, while um, you know, in what way is the insurance sector tackling the exceptional circumstances brought on at the moment by the global pandemic? Um, as um, as you are aware, uh, Greg, we we do only health and life insurance in the capital Emirates. So these are the two actual areas that were severely affected, if you want. And I wouldn't say negatively; I would say positively because the insurance awareness is now is really at its best, especially for the medical or the health, and as well as for the life. Um, you may know that uh, the penetration percent, which is the main indicator of how much people are aware of the insurance and how much do they want to buy insurance. The worldwide is a 6.1. In the region, it's almost 1.8. And luckily, in the UAE, it's at 2.9. So we have witnessed recently a surge in people looking for health insurance uh, with, a, with a much better uh, benefits than the ones they already have, uh, as well as life insurance. Don't forget that people every day are watching the news. They're looking at how many deaths, how many uh, were affected, how many are hospitalized. So this puts the usual consumer in the framework or in the, in the mindset of let me protect myself and family. So we did benefit, I have to admit, from this rise in awareness. As far as the claims are concerned, uh, definitely the long-term effect is something to look at closely, especially by reinsurance and insurers, because it's, it looks like some of the infected people with COVID would have long-term um, sicknesses, such as critical illnesses, uh, affecting some vital organs, such as the heart, kidney, etc. Uh, the last thing before I close on this question is the mental health. This is something definitely that has now come into, into motion in, in most of the insurance companies, even in some benefits, in some life insurance, in some uh, health insurance policies. Uh, we, can, we can already guess that the effect of mental health on children based on the homeschooling or the online, the lack of socializing, all these would have an effect on the mental health going forward. And, of course, of the people who have lost dear ones or on the people who got affected by the COVID-19. So all these put together are changing, if you want, the, 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 the map of the insurance in the, in the world, not only the UAE.